All right, all you devils out there, happy Friday. Here we are, the uh, 15th of December here, well, about 1230 for me. So first up is, I think many of you members, well, if you didn't know, you know now, right? I was out of town for a couple of days this week at a family event uh, down in Georgia. Uh, so we, I just wasn't able to do the live stream. Now, we did a little improv here. Uh, Tony Talon, uh, one of my senseis, worked, worked with some of you guys in kind of a improv Q&A chat kind of a session, which is something I think he w is going to continue to do. So that I, I think those are those are really beneficial. Uh, so we'll be back on that regular schedule next week. So for all the members that are, are viewing this now, uh, next Wednesday, we're back on. Um, so here we're going to look at, oh, we'll look at a few majors and let me spin around at some alts as well. It's kind of an interesting time here now as we come into the last two weeks of December. We certainly, we know historically Bitcoin has a tendency to to rally in December. I think we could call this a pretty decent looking rally. Now the question is, of course, what is it? Well, bears, um, if you're going if, to, if we're going to follow a bearish count here, well, this is the time to show your teeth, right? This, so how, how might a bear interpret this? Well, I think this is, I'm being generous here because I think the idea that this, that we topped here and this is a one, two or a B and we're going down below here. Okay. Possible. But I think more likely a bear's, well, I, you know, I shouldn't speak for the bears, but I, I'm not one. So, oh, I, if this is, if this is going to play as an ABC into a W and this being three into an X, okay, this is probably a, a bit more palatable that we might come down here like that. W, X, Y. Now take note here, right? That I have the having here, right? Well, what are we four, four months away? So for uh, uh, what a, for you bears, what you're basically saying is w with the having coming, right? Th this is not a question mark. ETF approval, boy, they're banging on the door, right? So I would give that, I, I'd give that 99.9% .9 odds of happening, right? M not because I have any insight, but because I'm just no human nature, right? There's way too much money to be made here uh, amongst those that will participate. Now, I'm not talking about traders. I'm talking about the infrastructure. There's just too much money, too much money to be made. It's going to get approved, period. Right? You can take me, you, you, you take me to the woodshed if that doesn't happen. But I think we all can agree that it's going to happen. The question is when. So this window here from the end of the year to the having, I think there's a pretty reasonable probability here that in this this time window, this little four, four and a half month window, depending on ex when, when we, we get approval here, we, it, this this little window here for a bear, you're saying that we're going to go bearish here. We're going to go down in a hard three, test the golden zone here, which I wouldn't have to. You could double down here. But if it's WX, you would expect it to, at the very least, take out this low. Right? Again, market's not obligated to do anything, but in, just in terms of pattern recognition, what does it tend to do? You might anticipate you'd get three down here to test the golden zone to tw 10, 11, 12, somewhere in that range. So that's going to happen post having with the ETF coming. I think you're absolutely out of your fucking mind if you think that's what's going to happen. Now, I could be in t terribly wrong and out of my own mind. But wow, to come to that conclusion here and then short it. I, I think that's a suicide trade. I, I don't know why anyone in their right mind would do that, right? Other than. You, just, you want to be you want to be counter trend, right? Well, the crowd is always wrong, right? Or it's too obvious. It looks too easy. I'm just trying to think how anyone in it, any any any. Well, maybe I shouldn't say it that way. Very hard for me to to rationalize how anyone could take an aggressively short stance here, anticipating that we're going to have three down to at the very least challenge this low. I I just think you're out of your mind. But that's what makes a market, right? So. Plenty of people think, you know, not, not going to happen. I, I could not possibly disagree more. I'm willing to put a, a, essentially a large part of my, a part of my financial well-being in, into that probability. So I'm very, very long Bitcoin, right? And, and many things in crypto. But again, this is me. This is, I'm, you know, I, should, I, don't, I don't know how much my, my percept, my positioning shouldn't really affect any decision that you're making here. So we're just looking at the TA here, right? So I'm just looking at that window saying, okay, we're going to be bearish through that. It looks too easy, right? For, the, for bulls here, that, that would be the only thing that I could rationalize like, oh, okay, well, everybody knows the having's coming. Everybody knows the ETF is coming. So perhaps, right, the powers that be that can move the market, whales are going to push it down here because it, 
everyone else is getting along. Maybe. All right. I'll, I'll allow for that possibility here. But if we just look at the pure T in it, oh, pure, pure t technical analysis, let me say it that way. Although it is more fun to call it TNA rather than TA. If you're an Eliotician, that's that's the count you're likely looking at. I suppose you could think ABC, and we're going to do five down here. And we're going right, to let's 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 stay in the real world. Okay. So as we sit here looking at that, well, it's not too hard to to look at this and go, okay, well, if it's not that, if this is not an X or this three is not complete, well, first this is out here at the daily. I should note here, I am in log scale. If we take it out of log scale. Okay, well, then we went 786 here. Th this would imply we're coming, coming down here. Same, same range, right? Coming down into the you know, 10, 12, anywhere in that range. I, I think since we're going from 3,000 to almost 70,000, we, we got to evaluate that. Or at least you have to look at it in both. All right, so this is what i do not think is going to happen <laughs> we gotta we gotta we gotta appease the bears right because there are every video i do is like, where's the bear count okay there's your bear count right we we looked at that last week as well so let's let's hide this okay so if it's not that what's the alternate right that this is well we it's five into an a it's three into a b well here's another five right so that thus the potential for a zigzag to have completed right C certainly right we got all the ingredients there oh shit, we got I thought I had this down here. We got plenty of divergence here. Divergence here. This is such Jesus. I could have sworn I did this, but uh, divergence here. We got divergence here at the A. We got divergence here at the C. Right. So just an uh, Elliott oscillator, just the RSI. Plenty of divergence here as we peak. Right. We had divergence here. Oh, so okay. So it's not. It's not a reason. We'll think. Okay. Well, have something has completed here. So did we complete? If if you're on the bull side, it's a. Uh, Oh, hang on a second. I could have sworn I had this done. Let's uh, uh, hang on a second. Let me find that. Here it is. It was just over one. Okay, I'm over here. This is on Coinbase. I'm still on the daily. All right, this is what I, I was just on the wrong chart. Divergence, 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 right? This pivot here. Now, if you're a bull, five into a one, three into a two, five into a well, I, th I think we can all understand here. We've got the golden zone here. We're, we've, we've hovered around the 50. If we're going to keep going, well, what's the bull thinking? Oh, let's use the darker one. One, two. All right, and that would be pretty dramatic retrace, right? We're going to come back to the low 30s. Vegas wave, imbalance, right? We all... You know, as we look, look at, cons at considering what the algorithms are doing in here, right? they're doing one of two things, right? They're either rebalancing an imbalance or they're seeking liquidity. Well, where's the liquidity? Let's get you out of there. Well, we've got internal liquidity here through some of these pivots. We'll look at that in a second. Or we've got external, right? Where's the external, right? We'd have to get out of this range, swing high, swing low. Internal, right? Plenty of uh, spots for internal. And then here's re the, the imbalances that will await a, a, a rebalancing. Now, whether the algos can get down here and take, get that done in this move, or, okay. Well, it's kind of a funky little start here. It almost looks more four-ish here. Like this is, we've got an ABC and we need a little more to go here. It's hard to call that yet, just yet. We'll go down to a lower time frame here. I, this, I think is, um, this is what I had over here. I think it's pretty reasonable to look at this and think, Okay, if this is one, two, three, let's hide this one now and just go to what I would call my primary count. One, two, so let's, oh, shit. Oh, I had these. I don't know where they went. Playing catch up, right? Okay, so let's get these guys up here. Bear with me, guys, I'll get this done. Okay, one, two. Well, if we're gonna get a three, it's going to need to contain a one. So you know where I'm going with that. Let's bring that down to something more reasonable. And oh, what are we not used here? Let's go to green. All right. So we've got a, oops, got a candidate here. One, two, one. This is my primary count. I'm going to trade this until I'm proven wrong. So now we're just sitting here kind of going, okay, well, if we completed, 
well, here, well, let's make it super simple, right? If, we, if we've completed, we want to buy in the discount, right? And that's going to be under 35, right? One of, one of the one of the things I like about smart, uh, smart money concepts and market structure here is that we, we, we maintain this, oh, shit, let's get out of log scale. Th this balance here between premium and discount, let me tighten that up. So if we're coming into the discount, we're coming down here. Right? So underneath, right, we can see that. Let's, uh, oh, I'm just going to hide these just to clean this up a little bit as we go to lower time frames. Okay, something's completed here. Now, just when I say that, that doesn't mean that there's no possible way we could, could just retrace and go again. It's just right now, as we sit here, right, LA account's always a snapshot in time. Given the divergence, everything else we just looked at here, coming into some prior structure here, some imbalances here, potential supply. If we go from the pivot high, right, we looked at this many times, right, we come down from the pivot high, well, we're, you know, wrestling with the 50. Could be another kicker to take it up to the golden zone. Would not be surprising. Of course, Bitcoin loves the golden zone. A anything down here? We see a nice high volume note here. All I've done is just draw the volume profile from the swing low to the swing high of this proposed impulse. Got a nice little high volume note here. So if a whale is looking for a, a spot to enter, okay, all right, that would make perfect sense, right? We've got structure all, all through here and a high buy here. So they could, they, a whale can put an order in here and not disrupt the market the same way they would. Now they probably can't get all of it filled depending on the size that they want. But that's, uh, that would be a reasonable spot to anticipate. Same thing here. Right? And anywhere in here, this is going to be an area where size can be, can be placed into the market and not be wildly disruptive. Right now, they will typically buy over, over time and look for those kind of areas. But that might be a place where they'd start. So if we're coming back to this, coming out of this consolidation, okay, well, this starts to come together and you can lay out a roadmap. Okay, so right here, this high volume node here, this it's, is one of the highest volume nodes we've got here, POCs down here. We come down to that 50, right into that high volume node, right into this structure, right right, right into, the, into the discount, right right into the, the, the tick of where we go from premium to discount, and you'd come out of there. Well, what, what would we be expecting to come out of there? Yeah, pretty rip-roaring impulse. Now, if this is one, two, and this is one, and this is going to be the two. Now, we don't know if it could go golden zone, but if that's going to be the two, well, let, let's, let's not shoot for the, you know, the, the, the crazy bullporn. Let's just go with, okay, well, that's a three. Where do they typically go? Again, right, you've seen, seen me do this 10,000 times, right? So, okay, well, if it's going to be the 50, okay, well, here's our 1618, 175, which is the high probability zone for a three, right? So that's a reasonable projection. Come, might come right into that, into the having. Now, I, I'm... You know, that just happens to be the, the angle that I'm on here. I'm not saying we're going to do that and then retrace. I'm just saying that, wow, that's a, that's a pretty good looking projection here if we were to do something like this. Now, if we get the three up here, of course, then you change the channel, all right, to something like this. But we can't do that until we have our third, right? Then we, the, the channel gives us some insight into a possible location with based, just based on that geometry for the four. 55 target here. 78, right, which give us a new all-time high. Now, again, there's no obligation the market stop here at 1618. That's just what it tends to do. Let's get all of this out of here. <clears throat> I think we got all of this covered. All right, so if you're a bull, I, well, you see, the, the good thing about this is right, the, the, we're going to get our answer here pretty quickly, right? If this is going to, if we're going to start a retrace, well, it's, if, it's, if it's one, two, three, well, here, here's how we're going to know. All right, assuming right, we're just going to play good Elliot ball. If this, if we're complete here, then one, two, three, four, five. Right, we're going to expect five down. If this, if this is a zigzag, and we're like five, three followed by five. That would be, it could be the A wave coming down here to twenty-five. You can carry that on. All right, A, B, C. All right, nothing. I, I think if even the most j just novice. What do I want to say? Oh, those of you just getting started with Elliott Wave, this this is not this is not require advanced Elliott to to get uh, a, a good read on a potential bullish roadmap here. Same with the bear, actually. I mean, that, that's three. That, that's pretty good looking three into the pivot here. Okay, we're gonna get our answer pretty soon, right? But take take note of where that answer, the timing of that answer, right, coming into the having. Okay, so I remain a bull. Uh, oh, shit. What was that? Sorry. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I remain a bull, um, and I would be looking for any sort of a retrace down here in this high volume note. I'm, I'm an aggressive buyer.
That's me. Not for everybody. Uh, it, and I, I would not do that with leverage. I'd just be adding to the spot that I have. I think that's the right spot for it. Now that requires a little patience. So w w what's going to fuck you up, right? If we do this, right? And you FOMO. Oh shit, it's going, it's going, it's going. Careful about that. Oh, let's see here. So the obvious locations for liquidity. All right. And now goes looking for liquidity, right? It's got a few spots to find it, right? Here's the biggie, right? All the external liquidity, right? So, well, pardon me, right? It would be external to this move here. It would be internal, right, to this correction, right? So that is internal until we go external. These would be internal because you're just making the premise that we swung down here. And as we come back here, this is all internal to this swing here. So here's internal, 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 external. Okay, so what are we doing? We're not going to know until we see how this comes down. So it's a bit of a hurry up and wait here, right? We got to see what, what comes out of this. Is it a five or a three? All right, let's go uh, to ETH because I think this makes the bull case even stronger, right? This, so this, I was saying, what am I in here? This is uh, algorithmic. Right, so same, same, you know, obviously they're going to look very similar, but the, the three here is so much more pronounced, right? The, the three here, let's get that a little fatter. You see it better, right? That three is, I don't think anyone's going to dispute that, not to mention it's an exact, this is traditional measured move. A to B equals C to D, right? We come right within a tick of the hundred, if not tagging it exactly. So you've got this just perfect. It's, come on guys, don't, don't give me that. That's, we're, I, we're, we're not going to argue about that, right? It's, you know, and I, when I say argue, I mean, I, if, if I get any, any uh, comments saying that that's not a three, you're, fucking high okay so that's a three all right so we're, we're coming off of that okay so there's the three that's the correction right off of our all-time high right now the, we're take we, this is taking a lot of time one two one two and this to this two is taking a lot of time but at least now the, this would is where, where people were getting very bearish like oh my god is it ever going to happen well at this point now we've got another impulse coming off the low right, so let's get in there and take a look Oh, this one's a little funkier here, but I think we can run two, three. This might have another leg in it. I don't think it's, we, we need to assume we're done here. Four, five may still be coming. Pull that out here with no overlap here. So it looks like this is in the process of finishing. Now, of course, you'll note here, we've just gone up and tagged the algo. So we're coming, we're in the sweet spot here. It's not always going to be to the tick. Anywhere between the 50 and the golden zone here is, is prime entry location, which is why you don't always necessarily want to wait so long. Well, okay, I'm not going to wait until we get right in between, right in the golden zone. You know, it'll leave you hanging on you sometimes if you do that. I got a clear five. I, this just so oh, for simplicity. Let's just call this an ABC. You could probably complicate that. But it's at the end of the day, that's a three, right? Where you want to complicate it, have at it. Right? There's a three. And coming off of that is an impulse, right? And that impulse may not be done. So when you put that next to the Bitcoin chart, right, which is, okay, there's a little more complexity in the Bitcoin chart. And a bear could, can, they can dance this into a, some sort of a, Oh, a W and then we're working on an X here. I don't, I don't think we've got that issue here because if this were going to be the X, it would have been here, A, B, C into the X, and this would have been impulsive. So th this, I think, feeds the, the primary count with Bitcoin as well as what I would interpret as the primary count with Bitcoin as well. Okay, one, two. All right, again, ETF's coming. It's again, it's just not, it, as far as I'm concerned, it's only a matter of when. But you'll note here, right, that we've come from right into the pocket here and how do we know it's an algo? How do we know? It's not here. I mean, this is as common as the moon follows the sun, right? We, we, we're in, we had a 50% retracement. That's how you know it's an algo, right? Thank you, David Halsey, right? That's that 23.6, right? There's no, there's no question that, that that's not even, we don't have to wonder what happened there, right? That's an algo taking profit, right? Now, that doesn't mean that we're going through the floor, but we can understand why it stops there. Then you say, oh, that algo shit is bullshit. Okay, right, you want to take that? Okay, well, how about I'm just taking the swing down here. That's the, that's the edge of the value area right there. Right, you think, oh, that's bullshit? Mm. Okay, it's getting tougher and tougher to make that argument for a bear. But how's a bear going to read this, right? First, why? Why are you a bear? Why? Crypto's bullshit? What? 
Right? What, are you, what are you on my channel for? One, two, one, two. One. That's likely not the three. One, two, one, two, one. Right, wouldn't you anticipate? So now if we just take the last impulse, got a nice demand zone down here in between the 50 and the golden zone here so would, would i mean again i'm not trying to be radically enthusiastically bullish i'm just saying okay well if that's an impulse and i'm, I'm looking for a three to follow it well, maybe we don't have to go that high isn't isn't that the most obvious thing here now the market doesn't always do what's most obvious but until until proven otherwise it seems I, I'm having a hard time understanding how anyone w would not interpret that as impulsive. I just I don't see a bear count in here that would make any sense other than you're forcing a bear count because you want to be a bear. Well, if it's going to happen, bears, it better happen right now because if it, any retrace here is just a, an opportunity for bulls to get better pricing, my, in my opinion. Okay, so we got Bitcoin, ETH, um, Oh, let me, let me take a look at Ripple because I've been buying here pretty aggressively. Stand by. All right, this is a bit of a an ugly, and I, I, this is ugly price action, right? The Elliott here is elusive at best. I, I think something like this, you better just work with market structure. The Elliott is okay. May, maybe there's an impulse there, but certainly it's technical. Well, we look here. You, you see, you look at all this and you go, oh, Jesus! Look at all this wicking, crazy price action. Could that, could that have any input here? Let's look, look, this is, what are we down here? From 30 cents to 90 cents, so that's three times the range. Mm, that would kind of make sense here. So what, what I always will do is the same thing I would encourage you to do is start looking, saying, okay, how is the market responding here? How, how, are, we, how are we responding here? I'll look at log, there's a 786. Some of this is is kind of interesting here. You just it's often the case. You're looking for how do we respond here? Third, right, coming coming back this way. Well, we can see here. I'll just draw. It. Oh, let's use this here. So if I go from our 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 pivot low here, we come down. We get a double bottom in, not on in the golden zone. And you might look at that and say, well, God, these wicks. Just wonder wonder if the algo right is responding with those wicks. Do, do you I, I'm, do you I'm, do you see this right? So we've got golden zone to golden zone, right? So we are just in a golden zone box here. Why does it stop here? That's why. Whoa! Why does it stop here? I I shouldn't. I, I don't. I, I like to think I don't have to explain that any, for five years. Right? That's just how the market moves, right? Golden zone to golden zone to golden zone to one side break. Right? So this in here, I, I've been buying pretty aggressively in here. I'm I'm a a believer in the potential here for XRP. So for those of you looking to maybe accumulate something here, well, we're sitting right at the high, well, here, let's get in there. We're sitting right at the high volume node here. So this is not a, not a bad place to be. This is getting rejected down here. Golden zone, golden zone, rejection. Here, high volume here, high volume here. One I've drawn, that's the, that's uh, Sonar Labs. It's just built into their market structure indicator, which I have on here. Let's clean some of this up, right? So I made that point, right? So I'd like to think everybody knows that that's how the market moves. We don't have to justify it anymore. Everybody recognize that. Well, if you've watched my channel for more than 10 minutes, you know. Oh, this just being a low volume here. It's always good to see, okay, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If it, What's going on here? Where, where's the volume? Where are people trading? Well, this is the POC right here, and I'm just from here to here. So if you're looking for a place to enter with size, wouldn't that be the logical place? Yeah, it would be. And if you're wondering, oh, God, those, whew, what happened up here? Well, we know it was technical. We know these are technical. So this is, I'm not saying there's a beautiful Elliott count here. God, it's, it's, it's absolutely not, right? But impulsive, some sort of corrective action here. I just think anything down in here and under 60 cents is an opportunity, right? So I, every time we come down here, I just... I just buy spot, right? Because but again, not because I like the technical picture here so much, but because if I'm looking for a place to buy Ripple, I want to go in where the you know, might might anticipate that some bigger players would go in as well, because that's what they're going to look for. Where can they put size on? 
you've got this massive imbalance here that now has been rebalanced, right? This is full. This was the, oh, the SEC case, right? Oh, wait, not so fast. Completely taken back, right? Remember, it's either liquidity or rebalancing, right? Here's the rebalancing. Where's the liquidity? Well, it was, Sonar Labs should, puts it on the chart for you. Buy side liquidity, sell side liquidity, sell side liquidity. It's, it's not here to spot. And then here's our range. Right. Here's the oh shit, where am I? Swing high, swing low. Here's the strong high. Here's the oh pardon me. This is the high I'm looking for. Here's the last swing low. So I've got a demand zone here. So here's the, the last low that did its job, gave me a, a break of structure. So here's the halfway. Here's the swing high. Here's the swing low. Here's the halfway. High volume. What do I see coming out of here, right? We're going that direction, not this direction. If we go this direction, for me, right, since I'm not trading with leverage, I'm going to continue to accumulate, right? I might, I'd take it down to 50 cents, right? Anything in here, I'm, I'm, I'm in the three to five year plan there. My view, uh, my opinion, right, so it's certainly not based off of the spectacular TA here or TNA. Uh, I just think that's going to be a long term winner, right? It has a, a, a per, perhaps a, UK, a use case beyond. Uh, um, it's got a very valid use case here, and I think uh, the powers that be will eventually embrace it, those that haven't already, and this will be a dominant force in finance over the next three, five, ten years. My opinion. Um, okay, let me let me get one more here. Hang on a sec. Okay, this is uh, sweat coin. Jesus, is that what they call it? Sweat. I think they do. Right? So I'm, well, I'll just go with sweat. Sweat economy. Excuse me. Sweat economy. Well, this is an interesting example here. So uh, I, I happen to be oh, and here on BitGet. So we, we've got, boy, this is like right out of a right out of a market structure playbook. So here, here's the last pivot high that did its job, gives all the breaks of structure here that led to this, this swing low. Now, as we come back, right, there, there's no clear Elliott count, but it's very, very obvious what's happening here, right? It's, well, let me, let me dig in there a little bit because this is just a great example. Right, of how to apply market structure when the Elliott is just well, fuck what, what elusive, right? Say it that way. Maybe you talk to yourself into some sort of a diag to get in here, but you'll note that every single swing high is overlapped, right? So we, we, we can't get an impulse in here. So, oh, we could actually probably get an impulse into the we get a it's all diags, right? So this you can't you can't get an impulse anywhere. Nope, you can't, right? So this would have to be five leading diags oh and i'm not, I'm not even going to go through it right because it almost doesn't matter right what we got high swing high swing low higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high, right? all all the way right no break every pivot every swing high over overlapped but every swing low protected right it's just classic market structure right this guy can't can't make this shit up right it's just absolutely textbook is there an elliot count i would i don't i don't almost, almost don't even care Right, I just, I, it's, it's not a true Elliott wave impulse, but I've got a pretty strong trend. I think we could all agree on that. Now, where's the decision point? Well, we're coming from the swing high here, the strong high, right, that gave us all the breaks that led to this low. Now, for this to turn bullish, it's got to break the strong high. Here's the strong, here's the, well, here's the last swing low, but here, here's the low that it's coming from. So the, the reason this, is, this maintains its position as the strong high is because this high has to be broken to invert that, right? So all of this is just the internal structure leading us up to the decision up here, assuming it gets there, it may or may not. But this is a long way to go here. Now, here's the last swing low, right? That gave us break, break of structure here. These are all inter, right? No, these are I chalk, I boss. Market structure shift, I boss, I boss, right? This is all internal structure here, internal, right? Not the external, externals right here. So to break that, now Elliott count, well, oh shit, it's ugly, whatever it is. But it's it, this boy. If you were if you were bearish, if you wanted to be bearish, boy, that's about as good a setup as you could ask for. Oh shit, or oh, excuse me, I, okay, all right. So in here, let's get out of log. Now, you may or may not be, oh, Jesus, you, uh, I'm going to have to do that again. Log scale fucks that up. You may or may not be, 
so I'm not thinking out of log scale is what I'm trying to do. You, you may not be a bear on this asset. Jeez, I'm going to have to do that over. But just the setup, right? The setup here for the cell. Let's try that again. Pretty, pretty good risk reward. Jesus, am I out of log scale? I am out of log scale. Why am I getting that so fucked? That's pretty bad. Well, I can't get that. Okay, there we go. Pardon my feebleness working with that. That would be the reasonable target down here. All right, six to one. And that's not, that's not a trade I'm necessarily looking to take, but it's it's perfectly technical, right? That, I mean, that's not a bad thought to think of it this way. All of this internal retrace coming back to the supply, and that now whenever there's su supply, I want to see okay, well, how much trading volume was there? Well, there's a little high volume note here, not nothing compared to these, right? But all I've done, I'm just I'm just taking this swing here and then just drawing the volume profile on it, and then I did the same thing here. Right? So we have two. Well, if I do it here, right, so you can see the, we do it here. Oh, will that work for me? It's not a lot there, right? But if I take it, yeah, let's do it again. Here and draw it all the way to low, right? Well, now we kind of, kind of start to see this here. And we look, okay, we've just gone past this. Now we're going, this certainly has the range to be looked at in log scale, which I think it plays a little bit better. So we get this whole thing coming back up up this direction here. Where's this last little high volume node here before we go down? Premise being, okay, well, if there were whales here that got short there, that's where they're going to defend. Interesting, right? So this is an interesting coin. I, I got this off of um, oh, these guys that we, we do now recommend here. They're in, if you're interested, this is from Altfins, right? Many of you probably heard of them. Pretty interesting site. They do great uh, research and t uh, technical analysis as well as fundamental data and research on, in crypto. That if you're, you know, again, right? I, I don't do this often, but if you want to, um, if you want to support the channel, we've got our, our link with them. We are um, we, we do work with them. We do have an affiliate link below if you wanted to support the channel. Great. If not, no hard feelings at all. Right? It's just your choice. If you want to use our link, they're, they're, they're pretty reasonably priced for what you're getting, but great idea generation if you're, you have so many crypto coins, right? How do you know? Good, a good way to go for it. <clears throat> or maybe get an idea and then look at the technical analysis, see what you think. This is, this, I, I, if nothing else, right, it's pretty worthwhile to put an alert on this to see how it responds when it gets up here. I mean, you don't, you don't have to, to take a trade like this, you don't have to wait for all of that. Right, you say, oh well, I'm only going to take it if I get that six. You know, you might, you might come back down here into some of this this structure here. That's not a bad little trade. It might retrace here and then reload here and then back up here where we have another really substantial supply zone here up at the top. Right, so that that would be one to kind of keep an eye on. Right, just if you're learning market structure, that's not a bad way to say, well, let's see how it responds here to the proposed supply zone up here. And if I get a trade there, I've got the potential for this to be a six to one. It's one to watch, right? This is a good, good example as you're learning to see how, the, how does the market respond there? Because again, that is literally right out of a market structure playbook. Swing low, swing high, all the internal structure gets back here, we retest and then head back down towards the low. That would be in the playbook. Okay, I think that's all I got for today. Um, oh, I'm catching up this weekend. Um, we've got some new things coming at you. We have a new um, new uh, crypto exchange that um, we're starting to work with here that we're excited about. Um, so we'll introduce them next week. Um, and that's a solution for those of you that are in the U.S. that are looking for something that doesn't require KYC or where you don't. We're running out of choices here in the U.S. What we, what's left? Coinbase, Kraken. I don't think there's many others um, I can not that I can think of unless you're trading the futures. But if you want if you just want to trade that, yeah, well, we'll introduce them next week. Right. I'll, I'll tease you with it. Um, BitGet, of course, much as we love BitGet, uh, no longer a, 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 an option if you're in the U.S. Right. The new guys we're working with, uh, that is an option. And uh, so we'll talk about them more next week. OK, guys, with that, I'll wish you a good weekend and uh, we'll be back full full throttle next week. OK, guys, take it easy.